This is going to be about episode, what is it, 8 of Pretty Little Liars, season 5. Um, if you guys notice, I do have a new camera. It's a new phone, actually. Um, yeah. So, let's get into this. I watched half of it this morning and half, like, just now. Um, just because I don't have any downtime at work right now, so I can't watch it at work. So, yeah, that's why it's super late. And this weekend was a little hectic, so, yeah. Okay. Where did I start? Oh, why are they singing What Child Is This? That's a Christmas song for you guys, for you guys who don't know. Um, it's about Jesus, you know, being born and stuff. So, why are they singing that song? And they sing it at the beginning and the end. That was, I don't know. That was interesting and weird at the same time. Um, why is Allison so pushy? That's what I wrote um, concerning her, like, pushing her way into Hannah's house, you know, Asking Hannah if she could stay and then just showing up there like, come on, son, why are you so pushy? But of course it was to get no con to break into Hannah's house. Allison is like, when will she learn? Stop digging a hole for yourself. Like, she tried to make it super believable. Like, oh, um, I couldn't sleep last night because there was someone trying to get in. And she was just doing, she's, she was and is doing too much. She said it worked. When the cops find out. That's why the cop, um, what's her face? Detective, whatever her name is, the detective lady. That's why she was like, how did you hear the floorboards if you were upstairs? So I, at first I thought Allison wasn't lying because we all saw the intruder. Come to find out, it's Allison getting no con to break into Hannah's house to make Hannah's mom look like a fool. So when it's found out that it was all a lie, what then? And she told the girls. So the girls now had this burden on their shoulders and Hannah doesn't know yet. Just, uh, Allison just needs to stop. I first I wrote, Why is Sydney such a fraud? But then when um, Emily caught her in the lie, I was like, Ha, Sydney is caught. I am so happy that she slipped up um, talking about New York. I knew it. I'm glad that um, Emily caught what she said, you know, was listening. Yeah, so I'm carefully. so glad that Emily caught Sydney in that lie. All right, um, what else did I say? Yo, the whole Bethany thing is getting really weird. Is Bethany Ali's twin? Is Bethany just Jessica DeLorentis' child? Like, she took her out to the stables. Like, Rhonda was telling um, Arya all, the, all these details about Bethany. I hope they were true. I think they were true. And it's pretty weird, you know, um, just how this is all playing out. Like, what? I just want to know what the relationship is. I don't need the mystery. I don't need the suspense anymore. I just want to know what's really going on with that um because it's getting really creepy like they almost got killed by the horse um spencer and emily a was apparently there which is crazy um so how did a know that they knew about the stables i don't think they ever talked about it um i don't know how did a know that i feel like a is following them again was it um ezra who knew that because he wasn't shown in this episode at all um Arya just spoke to him on the phone because he was in New York for a checkup. So, I don't know, guys. I don't know what to think. What do you guys think about that? Who do you think that was that was following them? Was that Melissa? Because um, in the final scene, you know, that they show before next time comes on, um, A was, like, caressing the helmet. Like, was that Melissa? Because it seemed like, oh, you know, good memories of this helmet or something. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Um... I found it a little weird how Caleb has been acting lately, um, how he was kind of like, Hannah was hungry and stuff, and he just bought liquor, like, he didn't buy any food, just liquor, like, oh, I thought I was supplying the beverages, then he didn't feel like getting food, then he couldn't drive, like, what was going on? I don't know, he seemed a little weird this episode, I don't know if they're just making him weird, but yeah, I don't know. Um, Zach, really? Really? This whole thing with him now, like, why does this show have to make everyone bad? Why can't anyone just be good? I know Hannah's not hallucinating, um, clearly, because he did it to her. Like, he dead said, hit me up, wrote down his number. Ill, though, like, no. Like, no. What the heck? He, like, you're getting married. You proposed to Arya's mom. We didn't have to propose. She probably wasn't even looking to get married again after her first marriage, you know? She's been through the cheating thing, so yeah, really? You're gonna do that now? I don't know how this is gonna play out. I don't, I really don't like how Hannah handled, um, not Hannah, how Arya handled the, Hannah coming to her and telling her this. Why is she extra salty about the whole thing? I don't understand. 
Oh, if you guys don't know what salty means, like she just she's being very petty. She's being very um like vindictive for no reason. Like what what's the issue? Like okay, yes, Hannah did do some dumb stuff, but sheesh, the other girls haven't treated Hannah as badly. They just question her judgment right now because you know she's a uh, you know she they she's becoming the drunk of the group or whatever. But she she was like you know why are you coming in here? Da -da -da -da. Like, she basically. I don't know. She told her off and kicked her out of her house. And poor Hannah was just trying to be a friend, but Arya really messed up that one because when she finds out it's true, I guess also the thing is Arya has been through this whole cheating thing with her mom before and she doesn't want to have to put her mom through this again. So I understand, but mm, I don't like how Arya handled that at all. Um... Oh, I wrote down, why can't Big Rhonda just be Rhonda? I don't know why they're trying to come at Big Rhonda. Well, I call her Rhonda. I don't like how they treat her. But anyway. Um, Sydney coming up into... I know I just talked about Sydney, like, a little while ago, but... Sydney coming up into Emily's house like that, like, she needs to chill. Like, get... Go, go somewhere far. Like, don't come up in my house and, you know, say, oh, your mom said it was okay. No. Mm-mm. Please leave. Like, no. I don't like... Who knows what she did down there when she was in her house, too? Like, who knows? I don't know. I don't like that. Um... Well, I had wrote down, I am sick of Allison's BS. Like, she is ridiculous. Um, with the whole, you know, faking to Hannah's mom. Like, oh, somebody... I, I think I talked about this in the beginning of the video. The video had cut off. That's why I seem a little out of it. But whatever. On to the next thing... Um, I was like, who the hell came in their house? Come to find out it's no con. So, at first when she said no con, I'm like, oh my gosh, no con is A? Like, I was right. No, or no con is not on um, Ali's side. I was right. But no, Ali told him to do that. Why does he do everything that Ali wants him to do? What is their relationship really? Like, I don't understand that. They are a little bit to do anything goes for each other type people. Well, I only see Noel do stuff for her. I haven't seen what she has done for him yet. So, I don't know. I, don't, I still don't like Noel Kondo. Um, I found it hilarious when Emily said, um, Melissa Maleficent, like, whatever she said in that little, that little, um, joke. Not really a joke. She was actually scared as hell at that moment. Um, it was hilarious to me, because, yeah, Melissa is... Oh, this is the thing I wanted to talk about, guys. Toby, first of all, why are we bringing Toby back? Okay, of course, his mom and Radley, alright, but he's gonna become a cop. What is the one thing we know about cops in this show? They are sus. They are not trustworthy. Him becoming a cop, to me, is just not a good move, but... Whatever, I see why he wants to become a cop because there should be justice, there should be somebody who actually cares, there should be somebody who's actually going to do something and get answers, but that has not really worked in the past, but we'll see if he wants to become a cop, we'll see what happens with that. Um, oh, the last thing I wrote down was, what was under the couch? Um, the last scene where the whoever A it, who Uber A or whoever A, whatever A that is, um, was like first was like caressing Melissa's helmet. So that means they were in Spencer's house, right? Um, then went in the couch, pulled something out. Is that Ezra's transcript? What is that? Where, what house is that? Whose house is that, guys? I don't know. You tell me. Can you guys give me some insight on that? What do you think is going to happen next episode? Um, I don't know if I missed anything. If I did, definitely comment down below and let me know. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I know this video is up super late, but listen, y'all, I'm trying so hard, um, to give these videos out and put these videos out, but I did not get a chance to watch it till this morning and then this evening. So, yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. Like the video if you liked the video. Definitely leave my, th leave your theories down below about who you think Whose house that was that A was in? One. Two. Um, what do you think is really going on with the Bethany thing? Like, we all know she has some type of relation to Miss De Laurentiis, but who's, who's the father? One. Of Bethany Young. Two. 
um how the hell like why was jessica taking her to the stables and stuff and she wanted to call her mom and or wanted didn't want to call mrs de Laurentiis aunt jessica and then went ham so yeah leave your comments down below guys i'll see you guys in my next video